Hello there, how are you doing? Good afternoon. It is a genuine pleasure to be present here with all of you. That is incredible. We should commence our class promptly. Please press the play button to begin. He initiated the process of pressing play now. Yes, that is great. And please kindly write me a message in the chat informing me of your location and place of residence. Come on, let's go. Share your birthplace and current location. Yes, yes, how good. You all are welcome and we extend a warm welcome to the participants of this intensive course on biblical finances. How many of you have already watched all the classes we have completed up to this point? Please write it to me in the chat. Yes, yes, I have already witnessed all of the classes. We are currently in our seventh class. Yeah, you know. Look, it's an intensive and free course that has a start day and a closing day, a day for closure. Yes, yes, how good. These people are the ones who are truly dedicated. Where can we find these highly dedicated individuals? Yes, super dedicated, hashtag super dedicated. And I want to show my respect to each and every one of you by congratulating you if you are super dedicated, super dedicated to changing your financial life. I was here in a response to your sentence today to change your financial life because I know you want to have your finances under control, your finances under control. I know. I know you want to make extra money and start investing to fulfill God's dreams in your life. Do you want that? So please write to me in the chat as well. I want. And for those of you who have just arrived to our classes, welcome and welcome to. It is a great pleasure to have you in this family. We are in the initial stage of this course, which serves as a warm up for the subsequent stage, which is exceptionally unique and significant. And it will commence on the upcoming Thursday, correct? And how is it going to work? The classes of the initial stage are taking place each day at two distinct times. The first session is in the afternoon and the second session is at night. Therefore, every day our team is already sending the link to access the class of the day in the WhatsApp groups of the intensive program, okay? And if you are not currently part of any of the WhatsApp groups, please join one of them, okay? But you can inquire of me, how can I gain entry? Proceed and obtain access to the hyperlink that is provided in the description of this video, all right? It is of utmost importance that you are included in a WhatsApp group, okay? You just need to be a part of a crew, no exceptions. If you are already in a group, you do not need to join another one. Is that okay with you? Yes, that's great. You just have to say yes, yes to receive all the information about the event. Let's recall that in the second stage, there will be exercises for you to practice a great deal. It is Holy Week. Let us get to work. Additionally, I also have to. We will also have an exclusive community on Facebook for you to post your exercises and my team and I will follow you. Okay. Is that agreeable to you? And all of this will be free for those who sign up for the event and are super committed here with me. Okay. I also need to remind those who participate in the classes until the conclusion of the event and are part of the WhatsApp group that I will provide them with a complimentary certificate of participation in the course. Yes, it's a free certificate to acknowledge those who participated and learned alongside me in this intense event. So be extremely committed and extremely committed because later I will not be here anymore. You will miss me. Yeah, yeah. So they must be highly committed because this is going to reach the final day of our course, correct? And who is interested in getting certified and obtaining a certification? Yeah, simply get in touch with me in the chat. So stay connected with me until the end and do not forget to make a note of the keyword for each class, okay? Let's remember, it's really important that the goal of this intensive is to bring you a complete content so that you can be obedient to God in your finances and thus have your finances under control, make extra money and send it to fulfill God's dreams in your life. It doesn't matter if you have debts today or if you don't have debts, you'll see how you can get out of them if you have and everything based on biblical principles of finance. If you have faith in the Bible, this course is suitable for you. If you do not have faith in the Bible, then you are not in the correct place. But if you have faith in the Bible, this is the appropriate place for your education. All right. Now you need to know the story of Joelma. Look, Joelma could not sleep well. She did not have peace in her financial situation. 
He had a grand total of six deaths and look what happened to Joelma. You should definitely check it out right now. The rich Christian came to bring knowledge and understanding into my life because I could not sleep, because I did not have peace, because I did not have knowledge, because I did not have many things that are necessary to live with tranquility, with knowledge, with wisdom, and with viable intelligence. And in the first classes, I already started to understand that all the responsibility for all the challenges I had been facing since I was nine years old when I started working and did not know how to deal with money my whole life. And I developed a keen interest in and actively sought clarity in understanding the behaviors of my financial choices. And today, all six debts that I had there have been completely paid off. My credit card in a very high amount is negotiated based on the teachings of the doctor, and I already have it. It is a small investment initially made for the honor and glory of the God I serve. The Rich Christian Group taught me that stewardship is a serious and important thing. And presently, I am serving my God with the stewardship in accordance with the word of the God I serve. Excellent. Look, Joelma mentions in this video that she was not getting sufficient sleep. So she didn't have financial peace. Do you want to have financial peace? Yes. So go ahead and make this statement. I possess peace. I possess peace. And you? Have you experienced sleepless nights due to debts and a lack of control over your finances? I want to provide you with a message for you who have lost sleep due to financial problems. That is truly unfortunate. Stay with me, observe this class, and make sure not to miss any sessions of this intensive program, all right? So it is truly remarkable how things undergo a transformation when individuals gain an understanding of the genuine, the truth about the biblical principles of finance. But for all this to happen, like it happened with Jolma, in your life too, you need to start having a real financial transformation. What is a fundamental alteration of thought or character? In other words, a genuine metanoia. You know what I mean? And now let's proceed to the Bible. Take a look at your Bible. Now in Proverbs 4.23. Team, input in the chat, Proverbs 4.20 and 3. It is written as follows. Exercise caution in your thoughts as they have a profound impact on the direction of your life. Examine the importance of your thoughts. In your financial life, it is your thoughts that generate your actions and your actions that generate your results and ultimately shape your overall outcomes and level of success. The money you have in your account today at the bank is due to this. If you haven't seen the previous class, we talked a lot about that in it, about thoughts, about beliefs. And if you want to enhance your financial life, if you desire to experience the promises that God has for your life, I am aware that you have this aspiration. And in order to actualize your dreams, you will need to acquire knowledge on how to manage your finances, how to be a responsible steward. In this series of classes, you'll learn a lot about shifting your mindset for your financial life. This is the foundation for the change that is about to begin now. Why? Because if money is a tool to achieve God's purposes here on earth, look, if you don't know how to handle this tool, you're at a great disadvantage to truly obey God. Yes or yes, do you understand? To accomplish the purposes of God, because money is simply a tool that can be utilized. Okay, yes, yes, you understand? Right in the chat, yes, yes, yes. And let me tell you something else here. All of this is already a component of our class, you are aware. It is feasible, yes, to alter your behavior in order to flourish. The actions you undertake at the bank when you are considering the possibility of obtaining a loan, if you do not go through a metanoia, that is, if you do not go through a transformation, however, it is possible to change if you feel like going through that transformation. However, it is unfortunate that we, as Christians, have been programmed since childhood to think with a poverty mindset rather than an abundance mindset, which hinders us from embracing prosperity and success. It is not good. So if I were you, I would not miss any class because everything here is a continuation of what you have learned before. I always talk about something that I already did in a previous class. 
And today I will discuss certain aspects of the debt that are relevant to our current topic. It's very important whether you have debt or not, so that you never have debt. Tomorrow I'll start talking about investments. Who is interested in initiating investments to fulfill God's dreams in their life? Please write in the chat. Let's have a conversation about investments. Tomorrow, I'm going to discuss investments in two distinct classes. Super specials that will be available in the afternoon as well as during the nighttime. You guys will have two different schedules, okay? Disappointingly, because on Saturday, there may be a change in schedule. Please make sure to pay attention to the WhatsApp group. All right. And what I can guarantee you is that they will bring you a plethora of knowledge and good things, especially in terms of investments, which will be highly beneficial for you. Tonight, we'll have an unmissable class on the law of sowing, the foundation of everything for anyone who wants to invest their time and resources. It is yet another extremely significant biblical principle of finances that you need to be aware of. It is the law of sowing, and I always express my preference for teaching you how to fish rather than simply giving you the fish, you know? And do you know why I emphasize this approach? Look, observe why. Because if I solely provide you with the fish, you'll always be dependent on me and lack the skills to catch your own sustenance. And my intention is for you to develop yourself so that you can be the protagonist of your own financial life. Is that okay with you? Because in our life, there are events that occur, yes, both positive and negative experiences. And don't forget, yes, at the end of each class, I give you the phrase of the day, which is kind of like a piece of a puzzle. So you can put it together at the end of the event. So you can have a real financial metanoia based on the Bible, everything that's in the Bible. So stick with me until the end. And at the end, we'll talk about today's phrase, okay? One more thing, I want to thank everyone who shared the quotes in the stories. If you possess Instagram, please follow me on, okay? Thank you. And there are a lot of people who need to hear this word that I'm going to speak about today. And it's really important that you, you got to call more people so they can be here with us in this intensive biblical finance program. Sharing is something very Christian, you know? So let's move forward. Look, how to negotiate debt and keep your finances under control. It is a very, very important topic when we are talking about having our finances under control, having financial peace. I am aware that you want to have financial peace. First, look, let us go with the biblical basis, okay? So look at your Bible now, what the Bible says about debts. Let's go to Romans 13, 8. What's up with you? Do not owe anyone anything. However, love one another, for the person who loves another has fulfilled the law of love and compassion towards others. So we must terminate the debt and the suffering. And how do you resolve that? Resolve it using your know-how. Let's advance in the Bible. Take a look now in Isaiah 53 verse 11 for further guidance and understanding. Team, please ensure that the verses are also put in the chat. Isaiah 53 11, which goes like this. After the suffering of your soul, you will witness the light and be contented by your knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many and bear their iniquity. If you're in debt today, you need to take an important first step, which is clarity, right? I have already begun discussing this in the previous class, correct? However, some individuals inquire about this, asking how it will be implemented in practice. How are you going to have this clarity to negotiate a debt properly? Facing the fact that you have to negotiate with the creditor is crucial. Or the actual information about your debt. This is really important. Yeah, it seems logical, but there are a bunch of folks who steer clear of this. Yes, you can trust it. And I am informing you that this does not assist you in resolving the issue. You might experience symptoms of this. However, if you lack clarity, you won't be able to solve the problem. Got it? Are all of you present here with me? Yes or yes? Yes. Where are the super committed ones? Here? Yes. Look, only after that, only after it's done, the next step is the good negotiation. Positive negotiations occur so you have sufficient time to get all your affairs in order. Another crucial lesson is that you must allocate time, even if it is necessary to confront the all or nothing situation head on. 
Yeah, that is important in a good negotiation. Sometimes you have to face the all or nothing. Yes, I will even provide you with a valuable golden tip to help you pay off your debts today. All right? And I will inform you so that you know the extent to which you can negotiate and truly fulfill without increasing the snowball of debts. Because there are a lot of people who negotiate their debts, but they're just piling up more and more snow on top of grandma's debts. And that's really bad. Pay attention to this. You must initially focus on the organization, on the organization of the problem, not just a debt in a symptom. I will demonstrate more to you during Christian week. I have successfully managed my finances starting from next week, specifically on Friday, by presenting you with the expense chart. Our expense chart from the Christian Rich Ministry is a convenient tool to assist you in maintaining control over your finances. It's truly something else. Today, I need to begin discussing with you the fundamental aspects of debt negotiation with creditors. Yep, check it out. It's really, really important. Another crucial step in negotiating debt with your creditors, which appears to be an almost insurmountable task when someone is in debt. However, today I will demonstrate to you that it is not a significant issue. No, please make a mental note of this now. You have to believe that it is possible. It is a crucial first step because if you already think that your debt is unpayable, you are already in a losing position. They are already beginning on the wrong foot in the negotiation. Yeah, yeah. I am going to provide you with more information about this now. However, before I do, for those who have just joined and still do not know me, my name is Taylor Campos, and I am the financial mentor. I'm a lawyer, economist, debt expert, and my life's calling is to transform the financial life of Christians, change people's financial life based on the Bible. And if the Bible proves effective in your country, by the way, the case I am referring to here is applicable to you. Is that clear to you? And in this class, I want to show you that the Christian can indeed negotiate their debts. It is possible and in an honest and comprehensive way with its creditors who may be banks, financial institutions, lenders. Yeah, there are a bunch of Christians who owe money to loan sharks. And why is that? Because first of all, in order to negotiate any debts, you need to have your finances under control. And this is very important to have this in practice. Look, during Christian week, I take control of my finances, which will start after this event. I will show you some practical tools for this so that you can have your finances under control so that you start to have extra money and invest, which is important for Christians to look at, ah, I have to be obedient to God in my financial life. And this particular event is currently taking place. We are presently in a phase of warming up that is happening at this very moment. We're in a knowledge leveling so that you're prepared for Christian week, which will be a real work in progress. Here's the thing. There is no point in worrying about getting out of debt if you do not have your finances under control. Because then you will end up in debt once more. And look, God does not want this for you. God wants you to have financial peace. I know that this intensive and unprecedented free course is an answer to your prayer so that you can have your finances under control. And desiring to escape from this situation and not return to it is the initial step, correct? Yeah, you have to start believing that it's possible. You don't receive anything. Wanting to get out of a situation and then go back to it, right? That's not how progress is made. So obtaining this knowledge from my own experience is of utmost importance. Cease stressing too much about your name in the credit control agencies. Even if you are not in the credit control agencies, do not worry about threats like this. Yeah, for real, the Bible says that a good name is worth more than many riches. I know about this. I've already discussed this in previous classes. However, the positive reputation mentioned in the Bible is associated with qualities such as honesty, credibility, and most importantly, leaving a lasting impact. 
And that was even like I already said, the phrase from the previous episode, the previous class. Do you remember it? Yes. Do you remember it? Please write me down here in the chat. Is that okay? Yeah. Who has already watched all the previous classes? Yes. I discussed a legacy. Yeah, that's awesome. And regarding phrases, soon I'll provide you the phrase for today's class. Okay. Even and the keyword also for your certificate of participation. So please stay with me because we have just started to. We have held ourselves back. Having your name in credit control agencies or with collection agencies means that your name is part of a temporary protection registry to prevent debt increase and is not a permanent record. A written document that temporarily prevents you from getting into more debt until your finances are under control and manageable. This document safeguards you from your own actions and frequently assists you in becoming alert and so that you pause, contemplate, and organize your finances in accordance with God's desires for your life. Because God desires you to experience financial peace in your life. God does not want you to endure pain, to have conflicts in your family due to financial matters because of debts. Contribute it is significant. Thus, it is what I have observed in my life, in my experience, that there are numerous individuals, numerous Christians, who become overwhelmed by debt due to the fear that their name will be listed in credit monitoring agencies or collection agencies. Yeah, and the financial institutions and lenders in general exploit this situation. Observe. They are taking advantage of your fear of this and using it to their benefit and gain. And this fear obstructs you from having your finances under control because a substantial number of people sink even deeper into debt as a result of that particular fear. So they are frightened of a potential threat of execution, which typically, as you know, does not even happen in the majority of instances, right? Due to a lawsuit, a legal process initiated by the creditor, the expenses involved are exceedingly high. So, on numerous occasions, it is simply a fear. It is merely a threat. And the act of attending to and preserving control of your emotions in that particular moment is of utmost importance and absolutely crucial. This is a strategy that debt collection companies utilize to unsettle individuals by employing words that cause fear over the phone through letters like credit control agencies and judicial collection. These are words that throw your emotions off balance. Isn't that right? Are you with me here? Can you understand the impact of these tactics and how they can affect your state of mind? Look, they even say things like, Ah, you will lose the house you currently live in. You will lose all of your furniture. And there they go. And in the vast majority of instances, this is not true. It does not happen. This is the reality in most cases. I am cognizant. Yes, I am knowledgeable about this. I possess expertise in this matter. Consequently, why are they making efforts to intimidate you into procuring a new loan and instigating panic within you? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they always focus on making you see the installments of the new loan, the monthly installments. Like this, you don't even realize regarding the interest you will need to pay during the refinancing process. Furthermore, it is comparable to a snowball that continues to grow larger and larger over time. And let me tell you, asking for a new loan to pay off the debt you couldn't pay when you don't have your finances under control doesn't help you at all. It is something you should not do. Why? Because this loan has a high interest rate that you should be cautious of. They do not even want to inform you. They always inform you about the extent of the fee increase, and they hurry to inform you about the total amount that you will have to pay in interest. Have interest rates ever been lower? The number of installments? Many times they are much more. So will you pay a significantly higher amount? And that new interest rate will be applied to the interest on the loan you already owe on the old debt. And the thing turns into a snowball that is more advantageous for you 
like a snowball that simply continues to grow. And ultimately, everything ultimately ends up being too expensive. However, however, so the second valuable piece of advice I want to give you now is if you cannot afford a debt, do not create a new one attempting to pay it off. You do not want to solve a symptom when you should solve the overarching problem. You will simply sink and fail by doing this, okay? It is not because you are a Christian that you cannot have your name in a credit office temporarily. It is just a moment. Look, it's in the Bible, in English and Aztec, there's a time for everything under the sun. And depending on the situation, this is necessary for you so that you can have your finances under control, so that finally the debt is manageable. Be capable of being turned off. I am not encouraging you to have your name included in credit control agencies as a result of your debts, no. On the contrary, I want to give you the right path so that you don't become a slave to debt for the rest of your life. I have a student who got her name out of the credit control agency in just seven days after she started mentoring. My intention here is to open your eyes to a common mistake that I see all the time, which is seeing people taking on an unpayable debt out of fear, of having their name in credit control agencies out of fear of the threats from collection companies. These individuals become enslaved by debt and live solely to make payments toward the interest that they owe. That is why it is important for you to know your rights as a debtor. Yeah, yeah, listen up. Here is a golden tip. As a debtor, you possess rights. I am a lawyer specialized in debt. Look exactly the way you desire to make payments. Yeah, I know. You want to get out of that situation. Your creditor also wants to receive Therefore, just remain calm and relaxed when you are negotiating the debts that you have. Banks and debt collection companies in general are a nightmare in the lives of individuals who are burdened with outstanding debts. Yes, they are threatening calls that aim to scare you and exert pressure in order to force you into making a quick decision, ultimately leading to detrimental consequences and wreaking havoc on your financial life and overall well-being. I'm not encouraging you to stop paying. In fact, quite the opposite. If you're here to learn how to stop paying, you're in the wrong place. That's not what I'm talking about here. Yes, indeed, I want to make something very clear at this point. However, the fact of the matter is that you, as a debtor, need to have knowledge of your rights in order to be able to make a fair negotiation. And a fair negotiation is seldom, if ever, the one that the bank initially proposed to you. All right, an extremely crucial point. Please give careful attention to this. It is nearly always not the one that the bank proposed to you initially. Look, I will say it again because it is important. It is a key point for negotiating debts. No one will hold on to the house you presently live in unless you utilize it as collateral for a loan or obligation. And often the bank desires to modify your debt in order to compel you to do this, which is to use your house as collateral. You should not do this. No one will take your furniture from your house because you owe them. This does not happen. I am aware of the truth. I have witnessed numerous things in my experience as a life financial mentor. Miles and many people do messed up wrong things and people suffer and perish due to lack of knowledge and understanding. And here I'm going to bring some basic things that you need to know about negotiations and about your rights, okay? Please pay attention. Currently, our class is very tense because the matter is incredibly special, isn't it? It is of utmost importance. It serves as a preliminary phase for Christian Week, during which we will delve into numerous practical topics and discussions. Christian Week, I am in control of my finances. Let us get to work. It is starting next Friday. So in the beginning, be extremely cautious when dealing with payroll loans. This is the worst type of loan you can obtain. I already discussed this briefly yesterday, but I would like to emphasize it once again here. It is extremely convenient and easy to take out a payroll loan, but if things get tough, 
you do not have the option to cease making payments in order to initiate negotiations. So you forfeit your freedom and the ability to select which payment you will give priority to if necessary. And behold, and right here, I desire to disclose a secret to you. Financial institutions exclusively conduct business with individuals who lack punctuality. If he is punctual, there will be no negotiation. Are you open to negotiating with someone who compensates you generously? Kindly reply with yes or no. Perhaps not. Perhaps you have a preference for interests such as banks. Incidentally, please make a note of this. In the Christian Finance Control Week, I'm going to give a special class where I'm going to tell you some of the secrets of banks. And I only teach them to my students from the full program mentoring, I Control My Finances, that even though there are no bankings now, but if many people want, if you want mentoring, I'll think about it. Please type, I want mentoring in the chat. I will examine this. Note that this class is only for registered individuals and the highly committed participants who are actively involved with me. It's going to be a real special class, a class about the secrets of banks, a really hands-on class. Now, going back to the topic of negotiation, an important lesson today with a biblical basis is the nomad's loan. Apologies, payroll, the payroll loan. It is negotiated in a different manner because you are already up to date and punctual with your payments. That is the reason why the bank does not want to negotiate, you know? A good debt negotiation starts with the principle of determining how much each party is willing to gain and lose. Important point about the negotiation, you know what I'm saying? In my mentoring, besides teaching my students financial strategies to have their finances under control and get out of debt forever, I also teach the secret of banks, the rights you have as a debtor, and the step-by-step -step and good strategies to negotiate debts in practice. But you need to be aware of this knowledge that I'm discussing with you at the moment, as it forms the basis for a successful negotiation. A lot of my students, once they start mastering the techniques and information, banks even start giving them money back that they never even imagined before. Try to imagine yourself receiving dollars from the banks that are your creditors. This is real, and I've already passed it on to many of my students around the world. In numerous countries, because they possess the right information, and in this class, I even want to reassure you about something very important and inform you that there is no debt without a solution. And the solution for you is not more funds because many people think, oh, I just need more money to solve my problems. Yes, but you must ensure that your finances are in order before proceeding any further. Making money on the side is also possible, but it's just a bonus. More money with someone who doesn't have financial peace, doesn't have their finances under control, it's a trap. You are going to add more garbage to an already ruined place. This is a really bad situation that needs to be addressed. So your focus is not only about having more money. Occasionally, the correct information resolves a significant portion or the entirety of the debt. Now write down the step-by-step -step of a very basic debt negotiation. Yes. Today's information, today's learning, step one. Make your financial plan so you can figure out how much you'll have to negotiate. So, you must commence by ensuring your finances are under control. Otherwise, it will be pointless to approach your creditor for negotiation or to finalize a deal if you do not intend to follow through with it. When a man has made a vow to the Lord, is it mentioned in the Bible? Please check your Bible now in Numbers 30. Two team members discuss these initial steps in a chat. In Numbers 32, when a man makes a vow, sir, or an oath that obliges him to make a commitment, he is bound by his word and cannot break it under any circumstances. But he has to fulfill everything he has stated. It is in the word. You have to know if you are going to be able to fulfill your commitment. So closing a deal with a creditor and not following through can be a whole lot worse. And that is stated in the Bible. You must keep your word. 
In addition to potentially damaging your credit score, following the agreement, they have the authority to request additional collateral from you. You end up heating up debts that were already expired, and you will only have disadvantages in making deals in the dark, which can greatly hinder your financial prospects. All right, pay attention to that. So until you get organized, have your finances under control, determine the value you have to negotiate. It's better not to do anything if you don't have your finances under control. If your finances are a mess today, don't negotiate your debts. That is the best advice I can provide you with today. Yeah, but if you manage to organize yourself, have your finances in order, and reach the realization that you will not have any funds to negotiate or repay, then your main focus will not be on settling your debts. Begin by optimizing expenses, ensure you have extra money, and work on increasing your income. However, behold, an important biblical principle, optimizing your expenses, is the principle of good stewardship, which emphasizes responsible management of resources. It's the fulfillment of a biblical principle. Here in the Biblical Finance Intensive, I'm teaching you about the biblical principles of finance. However, there are individuals who can speak like that. But doctor, I'm unsure how to increase my income if I can't find work today. Here, do we still have classes on how to increase income? Yes. Yes, we will have investment classes, classes on increasing income. We're just in the intensive class seven, which has a start day and an end day. So come on, you must be extremely committed, extremely committed here. And there are multiple ways to generate income, even from your own residence. The sole thing you need to do is modify the way in which you approach the process of making money. This moment calls for you to learn new ways to make money. Yeah, this is important. You should not just consider a job, but you should also consider other methods to enhance your income, you know? Hence, do not get stuck in a dead-end job. Instead, focus on exploring various avenues to generate income and enhance your financial circumstances. You have to alter your mindset regarding this, regarding money, regarding generating income in order to achieve success. And I also teach that to my students. In order to make more money, I observe a lot of individuals concerned about employment and a very small number of individuals concerned about income. You do not require a job, you require income. Pay attention to that. Work is simply one of the numerous ways to generate money and sustain yourself financially. I am going to talk more about this. During Christian week, I take control of my finances. That starts next Friday, okay? So as long as you don't have money to negotiate today, you got to get your shit together, manage your finances, and maybe over time, better negotiation opportunities will come up. Yes, please proceed. My sincere apologies. Possibly in the future, you must prioritize getting your finances in order as a preliminary step. Perhaps more superior ones will surface in due course when the appropriate time comes into fruition. It is a common occurrence for creditors to approach you with a more favorable negotiation when your debts have been overdue for a while, although it does not happen frequently or regularly. However, we must honor the creditors by consistently demonstrating that at that particular moment, we are unable to meet the debts. And you should never lie, obviously, because lying is not Christian. You have to make a commitment to solving that, but there is time for everything. Lower the sky. You have to be very honest and straightforward with the creditor. You just have to ask for an extension if you can meet the deadline, okay? So do you give yourself some time to negotiate your debt? An important piece of information in my experience, you know, I believe I'm sure to talk to you about this, Typically, following approximately 10 months of non-payment, the circumstances tend to get better. It is the time you need to get organized, to have your finances under control. This situation arises many times, doesn't it? But some of my students achieve that in just 60 days. Here's another significant choice for you. Look, debts are settled with the money you have remaining. Yeah, pay attention to this. It's not the phrase of the day, but it's content. Debts are paid with the money you have left over. Why? Let me tell you about this. Look, if you settle your debts by utilizing the funds from your basic everyday expenses, you will only end up creating new debts, which will further contribute to the snowball effect, making it grow even larger. 
your entire life, correct? Therefore, initially ensure that your financial situation is well organized. First, have your finances in control. Now that you have your finances in control and you have extra money, you can search for a business proposal. And how do you do this? Negotiate directly with the creditor, with the bank. Step two, request the calculation of the debt, which is the breakdown of your debt. Examine and determine what the primary value is. What are your interests? Having clarity is of utmost importance. The creditor is legally obligated to provide it to you. Is that right? It is your right, dude. If there is any installment payment proposal, take your time to analyze it carefully. Ask him for some time to give an answer. Pay attention to your emotions. Do not approach any creditor without having a clear understanding of your current financial situation. You also have the option to transfer that debt. It is a possibility that exists in numerous countries, and I have knowledge about this, that another creditor or bank can assume responsibility for that debt with more favorable interest rates. In many countries, this is possible, I know from experience. And this student, we are going to see at this moment the testimony because it builds up your life. This student applied this and several other strategies that were taught in my mentoring program. Check out the testimony from Luis Eduardo. Among the victories that the Rich Christian course brought me, the first one was finding money in my house. I had several items here that were unused, items that were just sitting here in my house. Selling items like printers, cell phones, electronics, and furniture helped me build a crucial safety reserve, vital for a Christian's life. The second win was the additional income. With the lessons from the doctor and Rodrigo, I could realize my potential at almost no cost, solely relying on the internet. Thanks to social media and my academic background, I was able to generate some extra income today. Today, I have an income that adds to my budget, which is extremely important for my family. The third victory I had was paying off debts. I had some debts that were able to be settled with the evaluation of the debt contract itself. Rodrigo, the doctor, was able to show the importance of contract revision because there was money buried there that was rescued and helped pay off those debts. The fourth victory that I have to mention was from a loan that I had, which was being adjusted by the IGPM. I was able to successfully make him freeze the IGPM correction and proceed with fixed installments without any further changes. That was extremely valuable. Besides the clarity brought by the course, like the fifth victory, seeing the importance of investments. Today, there I am as an investor, I have money invested. So like, there are many victories one after the other that make us independent, that bring peace to our hearts, and above all, make us obedient to the word of the Lord, which is to take everything he gives us to manage and put into practice in our lives so that it produces fruits, produces fruits not only for us, but for our family, for all those around us. Awesome, Luis Eduardo renegotiated and paid off his debts. He had some extra money and now he's investing. But it's important to know that you shouldn't negotiate anything until you have your finances under control. Understand that regardless of the size of your debt, nothing is impossible. It is a matter of time and patience to avoid increasing the debt with incorrect renegotiations. When it comes to debt negotiation, here is a crucial piece of information that is important to keep in mind. Never accept the initial offer, all right? At this moment, we are ultimately approaching the conclusion of our class. And the valuable recommendation for settling debts is to avoid being in a rush to repay them. It is a highly significant piece of advice from me to you because when you are in a hurry, the control of the situation is in the hands of the creator. Do you understand? So let's proceed to the phrase for today's class. Every extraordinary journey starts with a small step, no matter how grand the destination may be. Yes. And what is the initial step to escape from debt? It is about organizing your finances. It's about having your finances under control. To search for financial intelligence is to seek wisdom and knowledge to know how to solve financial problems. You know what I'm saying? And the financial problem is comparable to a toothache. The more promptly you deal with it, the less it will hurt. Do you understand? It is not just a symptom that you should search for the solution, but you should search for the solution to the entire financial problem. And this issue is effectively resolved with the comprehensive solution that addresses all of your debts, isn't it? 
having your finances in control. Now, I'll reiterate the phrase from today's class because it's important. Every remarkable journey commences with a tiny step. And this minuscule step is initiating the process of gaining control over your finances gradually and steadily. And today's keyword for your certificate of participation, which you can obtain for free, is journey. Please put the keyword journey in the chat at this moment. Don't forget to write it down, mate. And what do we have to do now? Hey, make some stories with today's class phrase if you have Instagram. We will share the stories you make, all right? Two, recommend the event to a larger number of individuals and invite a larger number of individuals to be blessed with biblical wisdom in their financial lives, all right? This is very Christian. And if you've missed the previous classes, they'll be in the area for a few more hours on the YouTube channel. So there is still time to observe them, but all of the animals will be departing the area in the near future. Please do not forget that the classes on Saturday morning in an exceptional manner will be conducted at different times. Please pay attention to the WhatsApp group for the intensive program with regard to the class schedules, okay? And the later class in the evening will cover the topic of the law of sowing, which is one of the biblical principles that generate the most results, one of the most important biblical principles if you want to be an investor, okay? So that's it for today. God bless you. See you soon. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following. Following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on I also paid off another debt. So for me, this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car. I used to walk. I have a car now. It is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today, I don't have. Sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this. Then I don't have. I'm calm. Everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended, that I ended with 1,500 reis. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow. And now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, 
I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had, and presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today, I feel at peace. Today, I sleep peacefully. We still face our life's challenges. It doesn't stop. But today, I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day. 